If you are a passive investor or someone who wants to become a passive investor, I want you to watch this show because I'm going to help a passive investor buy this duplex. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And uh, folks, if you want to work with me in the same way, you're about to see me work with my client, just send us an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your phone number because this is the show where I work with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, right? You guys want to start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. So we will find out, my team, we will find out what makes you tick, how much money you have, how you got your money, and then we will set you up with the right properties. We're going to scour Right, scour the Cleveland market, talk to any of the other 5,000 realtors for sale by owners, all that stuff. Try to find the perfect property that matches your needs. We're going to do the due diligence on them. Not all these deals are going to go through, though. As a matter of fact, Dave, uh, I wanted to send this to you because I just sent you another one. You said, yo, man, give me a, another duplex in the 70 to 90K range. I wanted to make you two videos because I, you know, both scenarios here, right? The list price was higher than the price that I think you should pay. And this one even more so than the other one, right? The other one, we were only like 5K off. Here, uh, things are even a little bit further off, right? This particular property, 3598 West 48, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. Just hit the market, dude, two days ago. I wanted to jump on this for you. Now, it's listed at 94.9. The other property, the one I just did for you, it was listed at 89, and I think the right price is 85. This particular one is listed at 95 and i still think the right price is 85 right irregardless of what the seller thinks the right price is i believe the price that you need to pick this up at is 85k the rent roll very similar to the other property we got 750 coming into one unit 650 into the other so we got 1400 coming in 16,800. right as far as uh you know your metrics how the property is going to operate again it's like same neighborhood same c-class type investing i mean you've gone through this with us before you understand uh the numbers and in, in this little sweet spot here right so of that 16 8 comes in every year that's scheduled to come in i think you're gonna make clear clean 84 24 on average and then we're gonna you know on top of that brother 840 for the capex 840 for the vacancy 840 for the repairs and maintenance right we got to save for those turnovers we got to save for the time when tenants don't pay right because these two tenants they're not going to pay every single month for the rest of your life it's just not how this business works and then of course we are dealing with an older property a property that has you know older mechanicals roof furnace hot water tanks thousand bucks for the hot water tanks three thousand for the furnace probably seven thousand for the roof Roofs and furnaces last 30 years. How water tanks expect, uh, you can expect those to last 15 years, right? So all those things throughout the life of your loan, right? Or throughout the life of your investment, rather, right? You're going to, you know, it's a moving thing. You're going to have to replace those things a as they come up. You don't do it all at once, right? You wait till they go bad, right? We're dealing with mid to end of life stuff here, right? There ain't nothing totally brand new. As far as what the building looks like on the inside, it's just, you know, your typical, you know, lower income type rental, right? You know, this unit, see a lot of clutter, you know, just standard kitchen. Uh, you know, this bathroom, a little dated, you know, I'd like to upgrade this bathroom at the next unit turn. Uh, other than that, you know, just your standard stuff, same thing, like just, you know, I got another, you know, deal here where, you know, they paint the, the trim and the wall the same color. I don't like to see that. I like to go with an agreeable gray on the walls, white on the trim to, you know, really increase the home. Yes, we can get slightly more in rent, right? We could be capping at 750 750 so we can be at 1500 a month in rent. We're very close to that right now. It's not about that extra 100 bucks though. What it's about is getting those tenants to stay into the property longer, right? Here's the mechanicals I was talking about, right? Nothing brand new here, right? These are all, you know, mid to end of life, okay? Nothing fancy, nothing brand new there. You do have updated electric panels, though, which is quite nice. As you see, space for the tenants to park. I'm not sure if I've ever discussed this with you personally, Dave, but I talk about this in a lot of the videos, guys. This is the neighbor's garage, okay? 
These are all the types of garages that were built in these Cleveland uh, homes, right? We're dealing with like a 100-year-old housing stock here, folks, right? And this is just a teeny, weeny, little lean-to garage. Most of them didn't have power or anything like that, right? Just little tiny, tiny little garages, okay? 100 years old, okay? So a lot of these, you know, throughout the years, people neglected them. They didn't, uh, you know, keep them up. Like this guy, he's neglecting his. You can see it's got peeling paint and all that crap, right? So when they get neglected, oftentimes it's cheaper, more efficient, more economical just to tear them down, and the tenants just use that as a parking lot. That will not affect the rentability of this property. Cleveland does not require uh, homeowners to build new garages, right? So do not think... Uh, that the fact that this property does not have a garage is a deterrent to your tenants. It's not. Do not think that you will add value to this property by dropping $20,000 on a brand new garage. It's not going to happen. Don't worry about it. It's very, very common in these neighborhoods not to have garages. And as the years go by, it's probably going to get to the point where it's more common for there to be no garages than a garage, right? So, all that said, Dave... Just like the last property, I think this one is a solid investment. If you break down the numbers on my suggested purchase price, calculates out to a 9.6 cap. Again, you only need 21 and a quarter into the deal, so that's 24 and a half percent average expected cash on cash return. I think both of these deals would be solid for you. Uh, so, you know, I, I think if we're up to me, I think it'd be a smart move for you to make offers on both of them and see if we can add both to your portfolio. But it's always nice to have a either or backup, right, if only one's going to work out, right? Odds are good that, you know, we might have a harder time getting this seller to take our $85,000 price point than the other seller because this guy thinks his property's worth even more than the other guy. But in reality... These are basically the same properties, same neighborhood. You're going to get the same type of tenant, same type of performance, right? There's really nothing special or different about either of these. So it's all about seeing which one you can get at that price point. And I expect both of them to uh, more or less perform for you uh, essentially the same. So reply to the uh, private email my team sent you below. Let us know what offer you'd like us to make. Uh, give me some feedback uh, where you want me to take it. You have one more video in your video bank with us too. So if you want to bank that, see what happens with these deals and then utilize that down the road, we could do that. Uh, if I've given you some new information in this video that makes you, you know, kind of spark some interest into something, you want me to make you another video real quick, we could do that too. Just let us know. That's all I've got for today's show. Thank you for everyone who stuck around. If you're a new viewer, guys, do us a solid. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to Holden Wise TV. We put out this content daily and even... Uh, if you don't mind, go the extra mile for us. Hit that like button so it lets the YouTube algorithm know you're getting, you know, you're getting value out of the content we're providing to you guys here on Holton Wise TV because our mission is to provide complete transparency into the real estate investment space. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.